Hi, my name is Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. This series of videos should provide an introduction to the fundamentals of the Visual Basic programming language and programming in general. Now, if you're already an experienced software developer coming from a different programming language, then this might move a little bit slow in some parts. There might be better resources available for you given the time that you have to spend. But if you're completely new to programming, then this is a great place to start. We're going to walk through every action and every line of code that I write. And I'm going to try to anticipate the problems that you might run into based on the interaction that I've had with absolute beginners over the past 10 years, helping people learn Visual Basic and .NET. The videos were recorded using Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition, which is a free edition of Visual Studio available for download from Microsoft.com. And this is important. Since we're merely covering the basics of the Visual Basic programming language, the things that I'm covering in this series of videos will apply to all versions and all editions of Visual Studio. This includes 2008, 2010, and later. It also means that you can use the Express Editions or any version that you have of Visual Studio. In other words, I can't more emphatically state that as long as there's a Visual Basic to learn, these videos will still be valid. When new versions of Visual Studio become available, the features that are added to the software rarely affect features that are relevant to absolute beginners. So you can watch and follow these videos 10 years from when I record them and they should still be valid. The next video lesson will assume that you already have either Visual Basic Express Edition or Visual Studio installed. So if you don't, please take a few moments to download and install it on your computer. The best way to do this is to search for the phrase Visual Basic Express Edition at Bing.com since the URL where you can download it may change from time to time. To get the most out of this video series, you should be an active learner, meaning that you should attempt to follow along. I call this getting your hands dirty in the code. Pause the video and then do exactly what I'm doing. While I do make the code available for download for you to reference, uh, you're welcome to it. You really should try to type the code in yourself in your own copy of Visual Studio. Furthermore, I'd encourage you to not be in a rush to complete this course. If something doesn't make sense, then pause the video, rewind it, watch it again, or find other articles or resources on Microsoft.com, on MSDN, on Channel 9, or my personal website, www.learnvisualstudio.net, that could help make the given concept a little bit easier to understand. So like I said, if you're new to programming, then I'm excited for you. You're embarking on an exciting journey that's immersive and rewarding. If you ever have any questions about any of the videos in this series, or if I can help you in any way, please post to the Channel 9 comment section associated with a given video, or you can write me personally at bob at learnvisualstudio.net. So in the next lesson, we're going to create our first program. It's going to be a simple program that we will use to build on until we get the fundamentals under our belt. So I hope you're excited because I am. So let's get started. We'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.